Hello there, everybody. Welcome on back to more repentance. Negative 10. <laughs> Frick, dude. <clears throat> that is horrible. That is, like, actually horrible. Uh, who's next? Oh, dude. I really don't want to play as Azazel. And I really don't really want to unlock Tainted Lazarus because everybody said he's actually just the worst character in the game. So I guess we're doing an Apollyon run. Which I... I mean, I don't really like Apollyon. So this is, uh... This is seemingly an interesting scenario right out the get-go. But anyway, here's your seed. P786KCEE. -E. Um, on the bright side, I'm not sure I've lost an Apollyon run in, like a year um this is in my opinion probably the easiest character in the game besides like a zazel um i i don't really find this character challenging at all uh mainly because it's kind of like stupid boring there i said it um it's kind of a boring character you you could just not take items as him uh, and void all of the items that you find and you'll probably like have a better run than if you took items which is why I really, really don't like the Void as an active item. I think that the fact that it gives um, damage and tears, um, obviously it does give other stats as well, but the fact that it has a chance to give you damage and tears just makes it not worth ever uh, taking items a lot of the time, unless they're, you know, stat-adding items that are really good, and in turn, I mean, it unfortunately just makes the run boring, right? You know, I'm, I'm gonna go into this item room, sure we could go for a planetarium, but I'm gonna come in here and like, it's forever alone, right? Which, is a fine item, but like, I'd rather void it, <laughs> right? You know, it, it's an awkward situation to be in, I, I, I think the idea of the item is interesting. Now, chaos I would actually like freaking love to have, because it would at least, you know, get some, some unique stuff going on in the item pool, so that we could then, you know, have a little bit more chaotic of a run right it's in the name of the item no see this is such a this is such a weird but fascinating decision for me uh because i will take no and you're probably like tyler that defeats the purpose of the void and in my eyes it really doesn't it really doesn't because the void is now i probably should have waited to void until we knew what this uh boss item was but the void now is is primarily going to be used for us to get stat increases right you know there's a chance i mean the thing is like we, we could get a boss item here that is like dad's lucky coin right or lost coin whatever the hell that is theoretically you know that's a range up and uh, a luck up right i just got a range up and a luck up from the freaking uh forever alone that we voided so we can end up voiding that item and then end up getting the exact same stats that we would have gotten anyway that that's why this character is a little lame um you know i know that people like him <laughs> i don't really know why um maybe you you really like the void i don't know i don't really like the void which is why i don't like this character and it, it just kind of feels you know every character in the game you know at least tries to do a little bit of like a unique thing with them right you know something that is goes beyond the here's a character that has an item right they, they try to get a little bit um more interesting in in how they go about doing things this character is one of those characters where it's like you know the the shtick is ooh he starts with the void he has no other characteristic um that kind of sets him apart on a run so i look I've, I've complained about him enough um you guys if you don't understand why i don't like him you're allowed to have your opinion uh i i just don't care for him that's all uh i'd rather play him in four souls than than in repentance slash afterbirth right um i i think that his character in repentance is actually like really fun <laughs> Because <laughs> you can do a lot with the uh, kind of re-rolling cards and, and getting some unique things going, uh, clear out boss ru uh, boss cards and things like that. It's it's a good it's a good character, but in uh, the actual game, uh, I'm good. I'm good. Unfortunately, uh, I would love to like him. I really would. Some characters I just I don't I don't care for him in this game, and Apollyon is one of them. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good night. 
I just finished dinner, so the voice might be a little bit, little bit groggy. I, I made homemade ramen. I know. I, I don't know what took over me in that moment, but I was like, you know, I bought this, like, really nice ramen broth uh, from the store, and then I also had some mushrooms left over uh, that I had. I had some spinach. I had an egg. Um, I had ramen noodles, obviously, so I was like, you know what? Let, let's make a... Uh, a little poor man's ramen. It was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't you know store bought, you know restaurant quality good ramen. But for for throwing a dinner together, dude, it hit the spot, right? It hit the spot. I was happy with it. Let's snag this. Would have been sick if we got a little bit of an extra something something out of it. Uh, you love to see this, actually. Uh, if it's a black market, it's an error room. Frick. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll get an error room to leave the floor, which now means that I'll have... I mean, it basically means we won't be doing downpour, which I know is a, a little strange, but, um... You know, I normally always do downpour. Let's take it. Mom's purse, sure. And it's, like, actually totally fine, in my opinion. Um, and, and key, penny, penny key? Flat penny, that's the one. Um, that's actually, like, a really good item for us, I think. I think that that's pretty good. Um, allows us to to get some extra keys, hopefully by finding a little bit of extra money uh, here and there. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Super secret room right here. And then just like, show me the freaking money in here. Could be the money. Yeah, you know what? That's the money. And then the fact that we got this many keys back out of it. Uh, I'm feeling good. I also, I, I'm going to tell you, I kind of want to go for broke uh, and go back into the shop and buy the other 15 cent item. Just just for like pure kicks and giggles. Also, I haven't fought normal Dingle in, in months. I swear I'm always fighting the champion version, so I forgot that he goes uh, three times. <laughs> I've been, I've been fighting the, the black champion, which I think only goes twice. Or maybe it's the red one that only goes twice. I, I don't freaking remember, dude. It was a bad play, though. It was a bad play. But, anyway, good dinner. Um, I, I also... So, Anna and I hung out a lot this past weekend, which you might have known from streams and things like that. Oh, sure, why not? Incubus. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm not even upset about that. Uh, that's actually fine. We're, we're getting a little, you know, we're getting a little takey on the items right now. Sure, take it. Eight inch nails. Okay, this run is is popping off early. We're, we're getting some high quality stuff. Secret room right here. Good stuff. Uh, magic mush is coming out of this. You, I guarantee freaking teed it. Okay, I guarantee freaking teed it. Did it get guarantee freaking teed? Uh, it's questionable. Right, it's questionable. Let's now. Oh, dude, we can actually, uh, against all odds, I can go into here. Which I didn't expect to be able to do. Wooden spoon, I'm like less interested about than any other item. Uh, but a speed up never hurts. It never hurts. Anyway, I spent the weekend with Anna. We, we planned on making like a really nice. We, we, we made like a uh, a very Mexican style dinner, right? We made really fancy tacos and you know kind of wanted to do the the takeout tacos kind of thing without doing takeout because we we enjoy cooking together. Um, it's just one of those, those things. We did it so much when we were in college that whenever we're together, we like, you know, to kind of have that vibe back of cooking together. So we, we were planning on, on doing this, you know, elaborate taco feast type thing. And, uh, we ended up instead, we, st we still did the taco feast. Car battery is interesting. It's interesting. I think it's really good, actually. If we get a couple of active items, which is not possible because of our uh, our little little guy that we have, Let, let's keep this going. The, the no trinket, which we could get rid of, right? I mean, we could get rid of it, but I don't think I care enough. Was one of these a teleport card? Joker does not technically count. High Priestess Devil, that's a strength card. Okay, just get out of here then. Um, we're going to go in the crawl space, which is an error room. This is a bug in the game right now. Black markets don't exist. Uh, they instead turn into error rooms. Not sure why this is the case. Um, but it's a little weird. Yo, why are these janky though? Yo, do they all give soul hearts though? What? 
Okay, um, cool. I don't know what the hell these chests are, but I'm with it. <laughs> I'm with it. We went from, like, no health to all of the health. Which is lovely for me. Now, the thing is, we really don't have to do, um, the alt path. I know that it's sometimes nice to do the alt path. But we don't have to. We're going to home because we have to do, uh... We gotta do ye old Tainted Apollyon unlock. Who I actually, I'm gonna be honest with you, I have not had Tainted Apollyon spoiled for me. I have no idea what his shtick is. So you actually get a genuine reaction out of me in the next one. Um, I've had a lot of the Tainted spoiled. Even, I, I didn't really have Blue Baby spoiled in the last episode. I just knew that he could throw poops. I didn't know what the, like, shtick was with it. But with Tainted Apollyon, I have no freaking clue what the hell his, uh, his deal is. So we shall see. I, I have no doubt in my mind that we will unlock him on this run. Um, and no doubt in my mind that we will probably also, like, beat Dogma and Beast. I, I just Apollyon is not a hard character. But anyway, I, I gotta finish my freaking story. We were planning on this big Mexican feast, and we wanted to make fancy drinks along with it, too. Um, so we, we wanted to make mojitos, because that's like, that's a pretty, you know, margaritas, mojitos. Those, those are your two, like, you know, taco drinks, right? So I got, like, fresh mint, uh, and, and rum, and, you know, all of the things that you need for, uh, a mojito. And then we were so freaking exhausted, um, the night that we were doing this, that we ended up throwing together, like, really crappy burrito bowls, and then, uh, we didn't even make drinks because we were both like headachey and <laughs> didn't want alcohol. Uh, so, needless to say, I had leftover mint just sitting in my uh, my fridge. Uh, now it's not like I'm gonna make a mojito for myself. Uh, so I just threw some water in a glass with some ice and uh, I put the mint in there. And I'm sipping that right now during this video. And I'm gonna tell you, dude, just like a tiny bit of flavoring in water can go a long freaking way. It's, it's so nice to just have, you know, this little bit of uh, an extra background thing to your water. Now, I understand why people enjoy... Now, I've never really been one for doing the whole sparkling water thing. Um, you know, occasionally in college, if I was grabbing dinner or something, came with a drink or something, I would get you know, sparkling water, uh, since it's a little healthier than soda. I mean, it's a lot healthier than soda, I should say, but, um, some of them still have a, a decent amount of sugar and stuff in them. But you never really see anywhere selling, um, okay, let, let's get rid of, mm, uh, we don't need flat penny, dude. This is fine. Uh, you never really see anywhere selling just, like, flavored water that isn't sparkling right but there is there's a, a market for it dude i like it right it's like also i've had where people put like you know slices of, of strawberry slices of cucumber into a big jug of water and then they, they serve that and you just get this nice little tinge of uh of fruit in the back uh when you're drinking your water dude i freaking love it i think it's fantastic uh so i'm i'm enjoying uh, a nice fancy minty water right now and i'm proud of it too it, it might be a, it might be a little uh a little bougie i won't deny but guess what maybe i'm a little bougie how do you like that how do you freaking like that in fact i'm gonna take a sip of it right now mm -mm. oh baby it feels so smooth going down because there ain't no bubbles that's the beauty that's the freaking beauty Okay, um, we should drop some trinkets off, I think. We, we gotta do it eventually. So let, let's drop this little, little larvae down in here. I'll re-pick up no. Uh, we'll grab this. Obviously, we took uh, the mark in case you missed that. Uh, I think the mark is a good item. I'll also come in here to hopefully snag. Frick, dude, that sucks. That actually, like, major sucks, because we could have ended up, uh, could have ended up in a position where we did not have to use our Joker card, but that's okay. Yera is fascinating. Yera is fascinating. Obviously a lot that we could probably, uh, swing with this Yera. 
But let's let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We'll go down. We're having a good run. We're having a good time. Um, it's strong. There's no denying it's strong. We haven't really used the void for anything um, on this entire run. <laughs> Hopefully we find a good use for it here soon. But right now, nothing. Um, I will tell you right now, I'll be a psychopath on this floor. And I will crank away all of my health for good reason um, to do that boss trap room, knowing it will give me two items. Because that's what Mom's Temporary Tattoo does. Um, allows you to get multiple rewards as Zodiac. I really didn't want this. I should have avoided it. But I suppose that's fine. It's Scorpio for the floor, so that's... I mean, like, absurdly good. Sure, we'll take this for, for 7 cents. Not something we need, but... It, it don't hurt us. It don't hurt us. So, realistically, I want to have a kind of insane devil deal here like i want to get down to a heart i think that would be that would be ideal for our run because two items from that uh that boss trap room would be really good so this should give us a bone heart should not have taken that yet and then this is actually not ideal this is not ideal well we lose the bone heart um big whoop Obviously, Krampus's uh, head is not what you're looking for. Lump of coal, I'm sorry, you gotta take. You know, the void, as lovely as it may be. This is uh, best case scenario for us. So now I, I really have to decide, do I want to be a psychopath? You know, I know you're all yelling at me. The fact that there's a freaking tinted rock right here. I'm gonna, oh, pardon me. I'm gonna tell you, I'm probably going to, to do it. I'm an idiot. I'm an actual, like, living idiot. Why would you pick up the damn soul heart, you dumbass? Don't you hate when you're, you're just stupid? It'd be so cool if I could live my life and not be stupid. And yet, every day I wake up, and, and most days I feel like I'm stupider than the previous. And it, it really is. It's a difficult life to live. Okay. This run is really strong, but keep in mind that that's the poison tears talking. We will not be this strong uh, on every floor. You know, poison tears are a, a ridiculously good benefit in this game. Dude, imagine Dark Bum right now, and then we go in there, and then we basically fill up all the hearts after I uh, almost kill myself here in a second. Temperance. It's uh, you know what, dude? No, I could I could use temperance to get a bunch of money and do this. Dude, nine lives would have been actually, like, very good there. I would have loved that. So, temperance, and then I essentially... <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> what's your what's your problem? What's your problem? Okay, well, we can get HP back. Um, This is fine. What are you? Empress. We don't care. So, I will now basically be killing myself. Um, not... You know, entirely, because that would be idiotic. But down to one heart. Can I just, like, do that? Thank you. Then we come over here, and, uh... Here's the thing. If I void this, I don't think anything happens. So, I, like, I think we would maybe just get it for free. Maybe it would start the wave. I don't know. I would like to probably void whatever the next item is. Right? J just because then we get a, a decent stat increase out of this. Because basically in the end, I mean, I, I got a shot speed increase. <laughs> we don't know what the other item is yet. If it's a tears up or something, then obviously we're, we're feeling good about it. But if it's, uh... Uh, that is real bad. That's real bad. If I die here, man, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a rough look for me. That's for sure. Dad's lost coin. That's where you void that. We got a damage up, we got a tears up. So that feels that feels good. Then we go back, uh, we snag blood bag. Which is also gonna be a speed up, right? Very good. And then you leave. Right? It's it's a little janky. Um one could definitely argue that that was not worth it. In fact, I think everybody would argue that that was not worth it. 
But when have I ever done things that were intelligent in this game? Uh, is this your secret room? Okay. A mega battery charge. I, I sadly don't care about that either. Let's go down. Let's go down. And then, uh... We're, we're looking for good Yara opportunities. We haven't found them yet. We're also, keep in mind, we're on two hearts right now. Um... We would like to crank that number significantly higher on this floor. Uh, maybe getting to, like, six hearts, right? I would be happy at six hearts. That, that's a good number. I do not like any of this. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. What do you got? The mulligan. I mean, you have to take it. Uh, that That's one of those not voidable. It's a great item. So we do not void. It's a shame because the void has really not done a whole hell of a lot of anything for us on this run. You know, I made this big to do about how I was going to use it to void every item and not pick up any items. And then like all of the items have been pretty decent on this run. Which I won't complain about. I mean, it's good. It's definitely good. I prefer to have fun items because then it makes the run more fun, but... I hate when the game uh, calls me a freaking liar. That's what I hate. All right. Give me this. Uh, you know what? Get voided. As it tears up. Very good. Uh, and now we're a freaking cannon, dude. <laughs> For the record. Like, we we a freaking cannon. This, this feels, uh... This feels pretty good right now. This feels pretty good. I'm tempted. Oh, that's a little gish. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm happy voiding little Gish. Do I want flight? Dude, I'll be honest with you. I do. And then that was another tears up. So the canning continues. Now we have flight. I think this, I think this was uh, a great set of plays for us. I'm actually pretty pleased by this. Then we uh, find our shop. And then our shop is going to provide us with like membership card and then there's going to be a seven cent sacred heart <laughs> okay maybe not but it would be pretty sick um dude i'm gonna be real this is this is heavy void energy for me i i really do not care about this okay i have no health right now i definitely have no health i'm not gonna void that yet actually because if our shop is is fantastic then I do want the stuff. Give me this. Not the secret room. We already found the secret room, so that's actually like a, a ridiculously bad bomb by me. We knew it was not going to be there. And now we have the charge ready. We just got to make it work. We don't have Curse of the Blind, so we, we can see what the heck's in this shop. Show me the money. Not what you were looking for. Really, not what you were looking for. I think you void the quarter. I do. It, it is, uh, is janky, is janky, but I think you do it. I think you do it. We still have this damn year rune too, dude. Right, do we, do we have a future for this year rune? Oh my God, man. <laughs> I am pretty sure we're at one heart, which is not ideal. Give me this. That's a range up and a luck up. I, I will not complain about that. We probably could do the curse room. I mean, you know what? Okay, this is this is kind of mad laddie. I won't deny. Um, what if we do the curse room and then if there's red chests, we dupe them. This is the worst case scenario. Like actually horrible. We're not dead. That's great. Um, I think I got a soul heart. <laughs> <laughs> the hell do we have that we just got? Oh, there's scapular. We have scapular. Thank God for scapular, cause we're like totally dead. We should have half a heart right now. No, we have a we have a heart and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heart and a half. Sure. Get get wild. Sure. Um. Yeah. We're we're fine with it. We're fine with it. I had to think about that one. If we were fine with it, but we're we're absolutely fine with it. It also, it does work with the, the beast fight as well, which is important to note. Dude, this is your Yara room right here. We, we crank 
Oh, you son of a freaking gun. Boy, that sucks. That that was oh dude, if it was an error room we were so done. <laughs> telepills telepills can be a little, little scary. Sometimes a little scary. Okay. Keep in mind that telepills has a, a five percent chance to teleport you to a uh error room. So it can get a little dicey. It can get a little dicey. There's our full card for doing uh the things in the stuff. Let, let's try to hit the, the shop first, right? So that we can uh, potentially, if a Mama Mega exists, right? We could uh, sneak and do a little bit of a uh, little bit of boss rush action right now. Not that we need to. It's just extra items are always good. BFFs is crazy good. Give me that sweet ink your buddy damage going through the roof. Makes it uh, very, very good. If I lose a heart, man, and I know that I, I mean, I'm actually, I'm 100% gonna do it. it. We have one black heart, right? I might as well kill off this black heart to go and do, uh, go and do the boss trap room and then get more stuff out of it. Also, why is this like this? <laughs> why is this like this, dude? This doesn't make any sense. We don't have chaos. And we don't have, um... Yeah, I mean, this just, it actually just makes no sense to me. Um, I will leave a lot of this. Here's the thing, right? You don't get multiple stat increases from voiding anymore. So I don't really think we want to void these. I think we want to leave them for right now. I'll void this. I got no issues voiding that. That's another tears up. There, there's the year again. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's actually like, there, there's a whole slew of things that we could probably still do on this floor. Now, I, I kinda wanna, I kinda wanna kill my heart here. That'll blow up the battery guy, which might or might not be a good thing. I don't really care about red health. <laughs> Let's see if we can save Battery Guy. There is... No way. Yeah. And then I killed myself in the process. It's not a problem, for one. It's not a problem. Um, let's grab this Battery Charge. And then we're going to see if Void triggers this. It does. Okay. And that gave us another Tears Up. So we are, we are like actual cannon level of Tears right now. And then obviously, you know, 2020, we now have, we're firing out four shots at a time. I mean, this is stupid strong. There's no denying it's stupid strong. Give me a damage up. That's a damage up in uh, a weird convoluted sort of way. I'm chill with it. And then, I mean, we, I guess the next step is technically just go fight mom. We can always teleport out and grab the Yara, which is good. And then we still have next floor, so keep that in mind. Um, it doesn't go straight into ascent right now we still have next floor to figure out what we doing so this is good grab the tinted rock thank you doesn't matter what we take full out and then uh i think you just grab this and then i think you come in here and i think you take this i think you take this i think you take this and then there's a part of me that's like, I think you void this. But what the hell could our tier stat get to, dude? I mean, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. And then to be perfectly blunt, I mean, if there's any boss that is a strong marked boss, it's going this path, dude. Because, like, Dogma is completely stationary at the beginning. So that makes it easy. And then Beast is also, like, pretty stationary. So we, we will handle this extraordinarily well, in my opinion. Like, th this is a run where Marked works. For sure. It's weird. There's no denying it. It's weird. But I like it. I also like the idea of playing this guy for a frick load of keys and then yarring this. You know, I think this is finally the Yara potential that we're looking for. Like, imagine if both of those have items, right? Imagine if all three of those have items. 
Imagine if all four of those have items. It'd, it'd be really cool. It'd be really cool. Okay. Dude, this is getting a little... A little chaotic, though. How about we just Yara them now? Okay. Then we open that one. That's pretty bad. Goodbye, beggar. Um, it's been nice. Open this for bombs. There, there is one that has an item. So, that's cool. Um, do I need the HP? No. So, let's do that. And then this is x -Lax. We need more keys. And we need more keys. How am I going to get more keys? We also, I mean, we still have our item rooms and such. <laughs> Which I really did not think about. I did not think about the fact that these still exist. We also have a dice room, which I, I don't even want to... I don't even want to mess with that right now. A golden key for the floor has never been more needed on any run in existence. One key, huh? One, one key provides us not a lot of value. Not a lot of value. Golden keys, please. Golden keys. A golden key and life is looking good. We'll definitely go to the shop before the item room, though. I, I think the shop has a little bit more value to provide us. Mainly, it can provide us another key. Right, we got 35 cents, too. So, there, there's some value there, dude. There's so many freaking golden chests. It's alarming. Okay, I mean, that's a horrible play by me. The HP, I'm going to tell you, it, the HP is not good right now. Oh, my God. Um, sure. We will do that. 20 cent, uh, 20 cent madness down here? Trisupa Yupa is fricked. It's fricked, and I'll do it. I will do it. Um, you know what? This is one of those runs where I'm, I'm chill doing a little bit of bombing to make some, some funky stuff happen. The key and the sack are obviously valuable too. So Trisagion, th this is seemingly horrible for the record. Like, I, I think that this is genuinely bad for the run, but the idea of it has me, uh, you know what? I don't want to bomb that yet because I need the money. So let, let's play you. I wouldn't necessarily mind another blood bag either if you wanted to give it. Was that a sticky? It is a sticky. You're out. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, out of here. Give me this. Give me this. Lot of keys, dude. Very good. Very good. We we like seeing the keys. The keys are good stuff. Is this good? I really can't tell if this is good. I think it's just okay, actually. I'm not sure that this is uh, an amazing synergy. I'll take Squeezy. We're at tier cap, but it's it's uh. Dude, I, I can't just stop, please. I forgot that I can stop Mark now. <laughs> okay, come in here. Guppy? No, no guppy. Okay. That's fine. Keep in mind that we still have... I mean, dude, we still... I mean, this, this is still a mess. I don't really want to do... Dude, Lodestone is crazy good. That's crazy good. Okay, we take that. I would love to void items in here did i somehow man dude what the frick i know some of these had items in them did i manage to pick all the ones without items because that is some huge sad if that's the case oh well um we're out of here i think let's let's check secret room probably here for super secret good talk uh how about i mean this could be the secret i guess this could also be the secret Okay, I don't care enough. I'm gonna be honest. Just leave. That was my opportunity to void that. Uh, and I actually... <laughs> I think I, I think I, I think I should have. That would have been funny. That would have been really funny. Pretty fly. How could you have spent our savings? You asshole. You absolute asshole. Okay. We know we left, um... Things on depths and caves. So just get ready to, to grab it. That's all. I like having the bone heart. It's a, a beautiful addition to this run. Dude, this run is uh, really strong. It's really strong. And I'm happy we took Marked. I don't say that often. Um, Marked did get better in Repentance. There's no denying that. 
But I'm happy we took Mark because it, it really allowed this to get kind of cracked in terms of our frame or our tier rate. Our frame rate as well. <laughs> but our, our tier rate is is kind of crazy right now. So it was good. It was good. Let's go up. This should be our, our crack key. Uh, crack key? I thought that was a crack key. Didn't we leave a trinket? I'm gonna be really pissed, dude, if I somehow fricked this up and I didn't leave a, a trinket somewhere. Because I am, like, 99% sure that we did. Is it here? Well, I know that, yeah, I mean, I knew there was one here, but I swear to God there was one in the depths, too. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, it's over and done. And then we just gotta... We just gotta wreck old Beastie Boy here. Dogma first, obviously, but then old Beastie Boy, and uh, life will be good. Life will be good. We're, we're big. We're getting a little willy-nilly with the health. Just running around. You know, Ascent is one of those set of floors. Oh, we did it two times in a row on these floors. Okay. That, that's my bad, actually. That's my bad. Also, there's no reason not to take this. P Pinky Eye for the chance at some poison shots is significantly better than what we have. So, that's fine. That's fine. I don't know how... Does Trisageon have uh, Spectral? No, we have... Uh, no. How the hell do we have Spectral tiers? Maybe Trisageon is Spectral by default. I'm learning all kinds of things about myself today, dude. This is nice. This is nice. It's like uh, Tyler's Awakening today. Is good. Is good. Maybe I also like uh, Catboys. It's gonna be hard to tell. I'll give you a, a hint. I don't. I think it's a really weird trend, but... You know, no king shame. You like uh, men with tails? Go for it. That's, that's, uh... <laughs> I don't know how to dig myself out of this one now. Okay. Let's just chill, huh? Let's just chill. Alright. What are we doing? What are we doing? Send me... Oh, this is not where I want to be. Dude, we also have so many flies from Mulligan. We, we have that rare run where our damage is so good that our flies can't get to the enemies before we kill them. <laughs> I'm interested to see actually how fast we melt... Uh, how fast we melt Dogma. Because I, I think that this is the kind of run that, uh, it's, it's maybe one of the strongest runs that I've had in Repentance. And I've had some pretty strong runs, but this one is sneaky strong, right? A and Lodestone has done a ton for it. Because Lodestone is basically making it where Marked is not even, it's just a rate of fire increase. Because as soon as one tier hits, then everything starts going towards it. And it's just, it, it cuts out me doing close to any of the work right now. So it's fantastic. It's freaking fantastic. I love it. I love it. We're having a good time. We bombed the carpet in this house. Thank you very much. And then a uh, little coin action does not hurt anybody. Uh, we're probably going to void whatever the item is here. You're a coward, actually. Um... I mean, sure. Can I go? Oh, we can just unlock this here. Yo, he's sick looking. He looks incredible. Okay. Uh, is there anywhere else that I can red key? Uh, can you red key? I don't think there is any other spot that you can red key. Dude, what a freaking, uh, what a freaking shame. Oh, well, um... I guess this crack key will will live in vain. That's fine. Hello TV, and then immediately get hit at the start. You love it. You love it. One of my favorite mechanics in Repentance. Gotta watch cutscenes or else you get hit. <laughs> All right. All right. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, this wave is gonna be a a wee bit harder, but not too much harder. Oh, dude, it's actually like. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We're, we're happy with this. I think Beast is going to be easy, too. Keep in mind... Oh, dude. I'm, I'm, this is some terrible play by me. Um, keep in mind that Beast 9 lives does not affect it. 
So we can basically just uh, slam everything we got into this guy. Oh, this looks incredible. <laughs> we can slam everything we've got into this guy. Do they have boss armor? I can't tell. Oh, frick, what in the world is going on? Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, when he leaves, the game does not like it. I think Lodestone freaks the hell out. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, where are you at, dude? You're all the way up there. Okay. Yeah, I think the game really does not like this synergy with Lodestone. Lodestone's the issue for sure. Uh, it's wonky. It's wonky, but obviously I'm I'm with it. It did feel like the game was gonna crash. There's no denying that. But what's a little game crash on a beautiful uh, Monday evening? Oh, what are you doing, game? What are you doing, game? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. War, please. SOS. It's it's a little frick, dude. It's a little, the Trisagians are, they're, they're having a bad time. They're having a bad time. This is a nice Microsoft PowerPoint. <laughs> oh my God, dude. It's so slow. It's so slow. Hello. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. Keep in mind that we also do have Lump of Coal. Um, I think he's dead already. Uh, okay. Yeah, he dead already. We do have Lump of Coal, so these shots are just sitting and becoming insanely strong. Which is obviously good. Um, the lag is it's an interesting scenario. I'm going to take a sip of my minty water, though. It's, it's fine. Living life. Having a good time. We're having a ball. Uh, hopefully he just, like, walks into this and then dies. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's a staring contest right now. Okay, he's coming. He's coming. And he's, uh, he's just completely destroyed. <laughs> oh, that is really funny. Okay. Um, well, that is the oddest beast kill I've ever gotten in my life. Um, Worm Friend has appeared in the basement. What a strange run. What a strange run. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like on the video. Much appreciated. I will see you in the next one when we play Tainted Apollyon. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.